Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Scratch Philly. I am DJ Royale, and today we are going to be talking about using the Echo on the Pioneer 900 Nexus mixer. The Echo is a great way to add flavor to your mixes um, beyond simply blending and EQing in and out of your songs. Good for both hip hop music, house music, pretty much anything. So today we're going to talk about using the Echo and tapping to the beat, using the Quantize, and then how much of the dry and wet to use. And then also selecting um, how much of the beat you're using, whether that's a, a half beat or a full beat or um, a third of, or three quarters of a beat, two fourths and so forth. So let's get into it. All right, so step one for using the echo on your desired track is to obviously make sure you have the channel knob switched to the side that you wanna be on. So in this case, we're on crossfader A. I'm on crossfader A down here. The echo is on. The wet and dry is all the way down. I just, I'm gonna turn this button back on. It should be blinking. So here's step one. And here is where you, these switches down here is where you assign whether the um, channel is on uh, crossfader A or crossfader B. A, B, and this is where you assign. So for this example, these two tracks are over here on A and these two are over here on B and we can just flip back and forth between there. So once we have our track that we want to select and put the echo on, step two would then be to make sure that the, for an echo to sound good on a track, it has to be, um, the timing has to be um, correct to the BPM. So you can either hit quantize, which when you hit quantize and you've selected your channel that the effect will be on, it should automatically read the BPM of the track. Now in the case that it doesn't have a BPM, you can tap to the BPM that you wanna do. Sometimes, you know, it's normally you're counting to the four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or if you want like a slower effect, one, two, three, four, one. And you can see the number change on the screen when you tap to it. It's also the good sometimes to tap to like hip hop or soulful songs that have more of a groove and swing to it because when they quantize, it doesn't always sound good. So it's, it's, it's nice to tap to uh, um, more organic instruments versus like electronic or dance music. So once you've timed out your BPM to the, to, for using the echo, then the next um, step is to then turn on the echo. So we can either start with the wet dry uh, knob all the way turned down, or we can start with it actually on and then hit the button. So it, it really depends what your desired effect is. In this case, let's say we want to slowly put the effect in. It's, uh, I just turned it on and now I'm going to slowly fade up. I should also note that our, our beat, the, the buttons to go back and forth between the uh, timing of the beat, whether you have a half beat, three quarters beat, one beat, two to one, four to one is up top. And that really changes how much of the sampler of the echo it's grabbing. So if you only want a half of the beat, you put it at half and you hear the difference on the echo. Versus, you hear a quick stutters out. Now, if we go up to one beat, it'll be a, it grabs more of the sample. That's one. Let's do it half again. Typically, though, if you're echoing out of a song, you'd want to at least on one to one. That's pretty standard across the board. A lot of times with hip hop, since you're having shorter transitions, you'll do a half a beat. So I always recommend on dance music, like one to one, maybe two to one at most. The only time you really want to use more than that, again, is if you're trying to create a long transition, a long echo out. Let's do that real quick. I'm going to go up to four one and it's going to grab four beats of the, of the, the sound before it, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, set. It, it holds the echo much longer. So it's really only useful if you're doing some kind of transition. 
So the best times to use uh, the echo is typically when you're echoing out of a song, it just adds more flavor to the mixes as, as far as instead of uh, just always blending and EQing. Or sometimes if you're bringing in like a sound by be it an acapella, you can echo that over a track that's already playing. So here's a tra an acapella I'm gonna mix in with no, no effect on it, super dry, just to let you see the difference of how it sounds. Now I'm gonna put the echo in. And by echoing into or out of a track, you, again, you add more of a, a smoother transition. Whereas if I would have cut that track without uh, any echo on, it would have just cut off and it would have jumped right into the other one. The, the echo allows for a segue, a, a cleaner, more smoother segue, which is also why it's very important to, again, tap to the beat or use your quantize to make sure that the bounce of the echo should be falling in line with the beat that you're echoing over or echoing out of. Once again, everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is DJ Royale with Scratch Philly.